Hey everybody, I'm Matt Mosler, and I'd like to welcome you to NLC Live. I'm the pastor of New Life Church here in Pine Bluff, so glad you joined us today. I want to share a great verse with you that's, you know, this really is a verse that's really relevant to the area that I'm in, and, and here's what it is. Out of the book of Galatians, chapter 5, the first verse, he says this. It was for freedom that Christ set us free. Therefore, keep standing firm. And do not, you have a choice, do not be subject again to the yoke of slavery. Such a great verse, but it's a verse that so many religious people have a hard time uh, wrapping their heads around, I guess. You know why? Because I think every religion in the world has conditions on it. With the exception of Christianity, every religion in the world says you have to do certain things. You got to pray a certain direction and pray a certain amount of times and go on a certain number of mission trips. You got to give a certain amount of money. Even denominations get into this. You know, you got you to give more. You got to serve more. You got to do more. You got to read more. And uh, it's like this. Anybody else, uh, when they were kids, didn't matter how good of, of a kid you were, at night you would pray to get saved again. And you got saved 137 times throughout the year because you didn't know, no matter how many times you went to church, you thought maybe there was something I did during that day that was going to keep me out of the kingdom because I had to keep being the right kind of person. That's exactly what the Apostle Paul is talking about here. Because you got to remember who, who Paul is writing this to. There's, there's like two groups of folks out there. There's the Jews and there's everybody else, at least in this religious world here. Paul is going to the everybody else. He's going to the Gentiles, to the pagans, and he's preaching this, this revolutionary message of freedom through Christ. Not what you do, but what Christ has done for you. And you know what? They were getting it, man. They were free. They were, they were giving. They were spirit-filled. They were generous. They were joyful. And the, and the, and the Jews at the time were saying, no, that, that ain't how it works. You guys got to come back here and be just as miserable as we are. Here are the rules that you got to follow. You can't do this. You can't eat that. You got to get circumcised. And Apostle Paul's saying no. And this is this is what he's trying to tell him. And I think what he's trying to tell us today is that you're never going to find peace through performance. There's nothing that you can do that's going to earn God's favor. It doesn't matter how many old ladies you help across the street. God is never going to love you any more or less. Why? Because he sent Jesus to pay for all of that. And the reason that he says keep standing firm is that there's always going to be uh, people or groups or denominations that are going to try to get you to conform to this box, like you have to do a certain number of things in order to be righteous. It was for freedom that Christ set you free. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not, your choice, be subject again to a yoke of slavery. It was for freedom. So why do I read? Why do I pray? Why do I serve? Not so I can earn God's favor, but so that I can get to know the God who loved me. And the closer I draw to him, the more purpose I find the more joy I receive. That's it. Not, a, not that I earn his favor, but that I already have it. So let me pray for you. God, we love you. And we thank you for your favor. We thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for what you did for us through Christ. And I pray that we can understand and discover the freedom that you have for us as we grow in relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.